Welcome back. I'm Cameron Kirkconnell with Team Salt Life, and this is Fish Story. Today we're gonna to talk about flounder. As you can see, I'm done up head to toe in camouflage. Flounder are masters at hiding. So as you can see behind me, there's a couple of different types of structure. There's mangroves, there's rocks, there's water. Flounder are ambush hunters. They like to sit right on an edge where there's a change from rock to gravel or rock to sand. And they sit there and they wait for little fish, shrimp, crabs to come by, and then woof, they open their mouth and smash them. So flounder are very unique in that they're perfectly flat. Both eyes are on the same side of their head, and some of the other names they call are flatfish, obviously, or fluke up in the northeast. The majority of male flounder don't get more than about 12 inches, but the females can get over 25 inches. A good fish is in that kind of two to eight pound range with a giant one being 10 or 12 pounds. There's a couple of different species of flounder, but in general, we just call them flounder, whatever it is that we're catching. So flounder are interesting in that they are both an inshore and an offshore fish. We generally associate them with being in an area like this, in the intercoastal or in the mouth of the river or near shore, but you can catch them out to 50, 80, 100 feet of water. And in like Northeast Florida and Georgia, those deeper water areas where there's a shipwreck, ledges can be absolutely covered in them. And that's where personally I used to dive and fish for them, was out where we were getting groupers and snappers and you look down and accidentally touch the bottom and there'd be flounder. And you start looking and you're like, holy cow, they're everywhere, they're hiding and they're you know, in this little rock and they're in this little spot. So being able to see them is very challenging. How do you fish for flounder? One of the best ways to fish for flounder is with live bait. They love mud minnows, shrimp, finger mullet, and a variety of different soft plastic baits that you would fish for redfish or trout in the backcountry. A lot of people catch them accidentally while fishing for redfish or trout, but you can target them by looking in specific areas where there's a transition and you expect there to be a flounder waiting to ambush. Flounder are one of the best eating fish by far, bar none, but also one of the most unique in how you clean them. Because they're flat, like, you know, flat on the ground, you actually have to split the fillets and cut them like this. The meat is very, very white, beautiful, flaky, amazing fish, and you literally cannot mess it up. You can fry it, you can bake it, you can stuff it with crab. There's a million ways to do flounder, and it is one of my favorite by far to eat. Thank you guys for joining today. Today we talked about flounder, one of my favorite fish inshore, offshore for fishing, gigging, spearfishing, and eating. They are amazing. I'm Cameron Kirkconnell with Team Salt Life, and this is Fish Story. Please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.